Welcome to Behind the Schemes, a discussion of how commerce, corruption, and counterfeit cures are destroying our planet's precious wildlife. This is Risha Kota Larson with Behind the Schemes, and in this episode, we're talking about the state of the Sumatran rhino. Sumatran rhinos are one of the five rhino species and are classified as critically endangered along with Javan rhinos and black rhinos. These rare pachyderms are threatened by the destruction of their rainforest habitat and like all rhinos, the ever-present danger of being killed for their horns. Sumatran rhinos are the smallest species of rhino and one of their most distinguishing and endearing characteristics is that they are covered with hair. Recently, I had the opportunity to talk about these incredible rhinos with Bill Constant, Program Officer for International Rhino Foundation. Can you tell us what the current estimated population of Sumatran rhinos is today? Probably no more than 200 animals, uh, which is a rough estimate and difficult to verify, but probably close enough to cause real concern for the survival of the species. Sumatran rhinos tend to be solitary, secretive creatures. They're very rarely seen, even by the people who study and protect them. So the evidence we have of their presence is often indirect. Uh, however, the remaining populations are both small and scattered, which presents significant problems for trying to rebuild their numbers to sustainable levels. And Javan rhinos have fewer than 50 individuals left, but are Sumatran rhinos considered to be in more immediate danger of extinction? How does that work with those two species? Well, it's, it's a difficult assessment to make. With less than 50 animals remaining on the planet, it can be argued that the Javan rhino is in a more precarious situation than the Sumatran rhino, but neither is good by any stretch of the imagination. If you focus on the rate of decline over the last two decades, the situation for the Sumatran rhino would appear more critical. However, the uh, Javan rhino is a classic all-your-eggs-in-one-basket situation. The last population... Uh, the final stronghold for the species is confined to a tiny area at the tip of an island, well within the range of a potential volcanic eruption, you know, shades of Krakatoa. Uh, for both species, the, total, uh, the low total population numbers also reflect a very low number of reproductive units, only a handful of mature males available to a handful of uh, mature females. And with the changes, uh, I'm sorry, and with um, the, the chances of them meeting and mating, uh, those are correspondingly reduced. That's what makes it important to integrate protection measures with captive breeding initiatives. Oh my gosh. Um, have there been any known Sumatran rhino births in the, in the wild in the last five years? Are there camera traps being used? And uh, how many rhinos are there in these fragmented pockets? Well, um, to your first question, yes, births of wild Sumatran rhinos, rhinos over the last five years have been documented but by multiple sets of footprints of the mothers with the calves and, and not by camera trap photos or uh, camera trap videos. Uh, there are a number of recent images taken of adult Sumatran rhinos on uh, the island of Sumatra, which confirms their presence at specific locations, but I don't know of any uh, photos of mothers with their young. Interestingly enough, there are some good images of Javan rhinos with young taken at uh, Indonesia's Ujung Pulon National Park firm reports of successful breeding by the researchers and the anti-poaching patrols there uh, that were based on evidence provided by footprints, mother and young walking along the same forest trails. Uh, the camera traps that help biologists estimate populations of cryptic species like the Sumatran rhino, uh, these estimates or ranges derived from tra uh, camera trapping studies are based upon a relatively small sample size. Data compiled uh, from strategic locations and applied to a broader area. Uh, but combined with other indirect evidence, these studies can give us a good idea of how many animals are present within a defined area. So based on all the available information, field biologists estimate that there are probably no more than 200 Sumatran, uh, Sumatran rhinos remaining in approximately four fragmented forest pockets on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. Whether any remnant populations survive on mainland Southeast Asia is doubtful, but that still bears investigation. Hmm. How many Sumatran rhinos are in Indonesia, and how many are in Malaysia? Well, according to the IUCN Red List of uh, Threatened Species, which is a database used by conservation biologists around the world, the overwhelming bulk of the 
world's remaining Sumatran rhinos, between 135 to 185 individuals, are found in three uh, Indonesian national parks, including Loiser, uh, Bukit Barisan Selatan, and Wakambas. A relative handful, perhaps 20 to 30 animals, appears to be holding on within the Malaysian state of Sabah uh, on the island of Borneo. Does each uh, country have its own subspecies of Sumatran rhino? Well, essentially, yes. The, the Latin name for the Sumatran rhino is Dicerorhinus sumatrensis, which uh, translates literally as the two-horned rhinoceros from the region of Sumatra. Hmm. Three subspecies are recognized. The most northern subspecies, which occurred on mainland Asia and ranged all the way to Nepal and northern India, was called Lasiotis but it's now believed to be extinct. Hmm. A subspecies known as Harrisoni is endemic to the island of Borneo and is the one documented from Malaysia, but some animals may still be found uh, across the border with Indonesia in Kalimantan. These animals don't typically respect international boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> the animals on Sumatra belong, as you might expect, to the subspecies called, called uh, Sumatrensis. Hmm. Sumatran rhinos face both the threat of being killed for their horns and destruction of their rainforest habitat, but are both of these issues weighted equally? Uh, that's a tough question, but I have to say yes. At this time, Indonesia's uh, remaining Sumatran rhino populations are under heavy protection by anti-poaching patrols, which help to prevent the killing of uh, not only rhinos, but elephants, tigers, and other threatened wildlife. If that protection didn't exist, it'd be safe to say that the species might have already been uh, driven over the brink to extinction. Hmm. There's absolutely no future for Sumatran rhinos without round-the-clock measures to protect them from poaching, which can very quickly decimate entire populations, as we're now witnessing with Africa's black and white rhinos. Having uh, said that, or having acknowledged that, the current status of the Sumatran rhino is equally attributable to decades and centuries of tropical forest loss and a relentless encroachment on fragmented habitat by uh, a burgeoning uh, and ever-expanding human population. The situation now exists that the last individual this, of, of this species can only be found in national parks and sanctuaries uh, that are officially protected uh, from exploitation by our own species. Hmm. Can you tell us what the International Rhino Foundation is doing to protect Sumatran rhinos and help increase their population? Uh, the International Rhino Foundation, IRF, uh, works very closely with Indonesia's Ministry of Forestry and our local partners, YABI, which is Yayasan Badak Indonesia, to help save Sumatran rhinos. Uh, thanks uh, to the generosity of many people around the world, IRF is able to support rhino protection units, what we refer to as RPUs, in two of the Indonesian national parks I mentioned earlier, Bukit uh, Barisan Selatan and Wakambas. We also support protection for the last remaining Javan rhinos in Ujang Kulon National Park. These efforts help to stabilize and potentially increase wild populations. In addition, IRF supports the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary. It's a 250-acre captive breeding facility situated in Wake Compass National Park, where we're hoping uh, to witness the first ever captive birth of a Sumatran rhino in Indonesia within the next few months. Several years ago, a young male rhino by the name of Andalas, born at the Cincinnati Zoo here in the United States, was sent to the sanctuary in hopes that he might breed with one or more of the females in residence, uh, Bina, Rosa, and Ratu, all of them uh, coming from the wild. Well, he's not disappointed us. He and Ratu bred in March of last year, and she's now completing the 12th month of projected 15 to 16 month pregnancy, uh, as your audience can read about on your website. Uh, despite early miscarriages that resulted from the couple's last two attempts at mating, all signs are now positive. Ratu is in the home stretch, and we're cautiously optimistic that she'll deliver a healthy calf sometimes later this spring or early this that would be historic first for the program and a success for what has become an international effort to save this critically endangered species. Oh, very exciting. We definitely uh, want more baby rhinos in this world. <laughs> um, what can people do to support International Rhino Foundation's efforts to prevent the extinction of Sumatran rhinos? 
Uh, that's an easy question to answer. Anyone can help support tr uh, Sumatran rhinos by making a contribution to IRF, uh, which can be used to support the rhino protection units in the field, uh, captive breeding programs at the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary, or both. Uh, if folks want to help, I invite them to visit our website, www.rhinos-irf.org, and make a donation. They can help by adopting Andalas, Vina, Rosa, Karatu, and I also invite them to learn more about what IRF is doing to help save uh, the world's other rhino species in Africa and Asia. Rhinos are among the world's most critically endangered species, and it's going to take a global effort to save them, so there's room for everyone to get involved. I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to bring the message uh, to Saving Rhinos LLC's readers and uh, listeners. Thank you very much, Bill, for taking time to discuss the state of the Sumatran rhino with us. It was my pleasure. You've been listening to The State of the Sumatran Rhino with Bill Constant, Program Officer for International Rhino Foundation. This is Risha Kota Larson with Behind the Schemes.